I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can use sound design to level up your videos and make them so much more engaging. We're gonna be breaking down the Sofago concert recap that I did, but before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys before the sound design and then after. As you guys saw there, the before and after was wild. The sound design really carried and added so much energy to the video. Now, before we get started and hop into this, I'm gonna be using my brand new Wooshes sound design pack. It'll be linked in the description below. Inside of it, there's over 80 different sounds. There's a ton of Wooshes, risers, and a couple other miscellaneous sounds in there that you guys can use for your projects. I use this on all of my music videos and I highly recommend it. As you guys saw earlier, adding those Wooshes and sounds really just take the video to another level. So we're gonna hop right into this and to start off, we're gonna clear all the sound effects that we have and start from scratch. So once I go ahead and delete all of these here, I can play it through for you guys. Hey, baby, I feel like and it's kind of bland with no sound design, but we're gonna add to it. So to get started, what I like to do for certain parts of the video where we see the crowd here, like this part here, uh, this part here where the crowd goes crazy, and then uh, I believe a part coming up here as well, if I can find it. Anyway, so what I like to do for those parts is we're gonna go to the audio clip where the song is playing, and we're gonna crop it and put a low pass on it. Now, if you guys don't know what a low pass is, I'm putting you guys on right now. It's that underwater sound effect. I'm sure you've heard it before in music videos and songs. So we're gonna go ahead and open up effects and put on our low pass filter here. Now, as you guys can see, if I play this through, you're gonna hear the low pass on. Kind of adds that underwater effect, like I said. We go into effect controls. I'm gonna turn that to 800. And the way this works is the lower you bring it, the more underwater it's gonna sound. And then the higher you bring it, the more it's gonna sound normal. So we're gonna set it to something like 500, per se. And then we're gonna right click where the cut is and apply a default transition and then make it smaller. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna fade it from normal into the low pass sound, just so it's not a harsh effect, just like this. And we'll expand it just like that. And I'm gonna do that for every crowd scene. And now once we have that set there, this is really gonna blend it all together. We're gonna go into the project. We're gonna open up the sound design pack. As you guys can see, we have three different folders. We have whooshes, risers, and concert sounds. We're gonna start off here with the concert sounds. I'm gonna go to crowd screaming one and bring that in here. And I'm just gonna trim it to a, somewhere about here and then fade in the beginning just like so. And now if we play this through, it's a little bit overwhelming. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down to minus 20 for the whole video. And it's just gonna subtly be there in the background, especially for a scene like this. But we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop Crowd Screaming 2 in here now. And what I'm gonna do for 2 is I'm gonna trim it to this part right here. And then I'm gonna extend it to about where these extend and then fade them in as well to have them match, just like so. Now when the low pass hits and the crowd goes crazy, it's really gonna have that energy. You guys can even extend it a little bit more like this just to make it blend better. Once again, all this is adding in sounds, tweaking it, make sure it's at the right time and playing with the game by right clicking and bringing it down here. So let's set it to minus five. That is perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some whooshes here. I really like when it slows down right here to add a nice little medium whoosh. Going into our whooshes pack, we'll go to the medium one here and we'll start playing through these to see what one we like. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one in here. And right where the slow-mo hits, I'm gonna add it. So I'm gonna line it up here. So right about here. And then right where it speeds up, I'm gonna go ahead into our fast whooshes and add one. And don't be scared, you can literally right click on them, play with the audio gain of them. And I recommend as well playing with the speed and duration. So let's make this one 200, for example. And since that does happen really fast and it's kind of overwhelming, I'm gonna right click on it, go into audio gain and turn it down by 10. Just so it's there. It's gonna be there really subtly. So if we turn everything off, you guys can tell. But it really helps sell the energy and effect. So, so far we have this. And then for this massive camera whip down, we're gonna go ahead and apply another fast whoosh. Let's play through these. Let's go with this one right here. 
That looked clean there. And now we're gonna go into the risers here. I highly recommend using these on your videos. Open up the risers. We have eight different ones. I'm gonna start off with number one here. We're gonna drag and drop it and use it for this scene right here where it builds up and goes into the whip. And then boom, goes right into Fago performing there. I'm gonna have it cut off right here. I'm gonna go into the fast whooshes and add a fast whoosh right here. Then we're just gonna blend that a little bit right there. And then as you guys can see, if we play this through without it and then with it, it really adds so much energy. So that's without it, this is with it. I'm just gonna line this up a little bit better here. Once again, like I said, all this is tweaking. If we fade this out, hard. And for this part here as well, we're gonna do the exact same low pass thing where this cut comes in. So we're gonna cut it, go to where we want it to end, which is right here. And we're gonna copy this exact same low pass by clicking on it, pressing Control C, clicking on the other one, Control Alt V, and then hitting OK, making sure low pass is checked. And we're gonna right click and add those exact same. And we're gonna right click and add those exact same default transitions, just like so. If we bring this sound effect clip right here as well, and we extend it to a different part, And right where that hits, I think we could put another whoosh. Now, what I recommend doing is honestly just spamming your video with whooshes, but making sure not all of them are really loud. This one's kind of quiet, for example, but you can kind of just like for the average viewer, you're not going to tell it's there. But like if we play it without it compared to with it, especially where these slow shutter whips are, let's add another whoosh here. Now this part right here, we're gonna add another riser followed by a whoosh. We go in here. Let's go with this one right here. It really has the tension there. And we're gonna end it right where the whip hits, which is right here. And then as soon as that hits, we're gonna end it on a whoosh as well. So much energy guys, like it's crazy. So once again, I recommend for all these crowd scenes to cut it and add the low pass effect with the audio getting louder from the concert and then just going through and just putting as many whooshes as you can. Trust me, there's so many in here. We didn't even mess around with the medium one. Or if we go back in the whooshes, like we have buildups, which are really cool too. For example, we'll throw this in somewhere here. We'll find a creative place to put it. Right where this camera whip hits. Let's put, let's put this big whoosh here. Right where that shake hits, let's put a random one like this one, for example. Kind of big, but fuck it. And then we want to go ahead, since it's really loud, make it minus 15. Honestly, there's so much versatility to use in this pack and you can use it on any video. Just mess around with them, play with the pitch, play with the speed, with the audio gain on them, move them around. Just add so much energy and really draws the viewer's attention in so much more without even knowing. There's so many sounds in this pack that you guys can use to spice up your videos. I really took my time putting this together for you guys. I use this on all my videos as well and it goes crazy. If you guys do wanna go grab it, it'll be linked in the description below. If you do wanna learn more, I have two banging videos left above. Pick one of them, you will definitely learn something. You might as well subscribe too if you're not already. Peace.